This video is not for scammers. Welcome to my channel's Striker24x7. If you like my YouTube videos then subscribe, click the bell icon, like, comment, and share. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to integrate, enable and configure the VC phone WebRTC and VC dial with self-signed SSL certificate that is without a fully qualified domain name or public IP. What is the benefit of using WebRTC and VC dial? Number 1, it's open source. Number 2, you no need to install any software, like Softphone at Agent PC. Number 3, you can avoid SIP settings at Agent PC Softphone. Prerequisites Number 1, VC Box 9. Number 2, Asterisk 13 or above, VC Box 9 inbuilt with Asterisk 13. Number 3, Root access to VC Box Linux console. Number 4, either Mozilla or Chrome browser. Steps to be followed. Step 1, generate the self-signed SSL certificate with OpenSSL tool. Step 2, Apache configuration to use our self-signed SSL certificate, and redirect all HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Step 3, asterisk configuration to support WebRTC. Step 4, download the VC phone from GitHub. Step 5, VC dial configuration to enable the web phone to support WebRTC. Step 6, browser workaround to support WebRTC to work with self-signed certificate. Step 1, generating the self-signed certificate with OpenSSL tool. Log into your Linux console and run the below command to generate the self-signed certificate. Let's jump to my demo server and finish step 1. Copy paste the OpenSSL command and press enter. Enter the country code. Enter a state province name. Enter a locality name. Enter your organization name. Example striker.com. Enter your organization unit name. Now enter the common name. I am going to type my server IP here. It can be any name. Enter an email id. We have generated the self-signed SSL certificate and key. Now go to certificate location and confirm certificates are generated. Step 2, Apache configurations. First we need to point our SSL certificate in Apache. In VC box it's located at slash etc slash Apache 2 slash vhost.d slash 1111 default hyphen SSL dot conf. Using VI editor open the file and enter the full path of our SSL certificate and key, as shown here. Next we need to enable HTTP to HTTPS redirection, because WebRTC only works in secure connection that is HTTPS. Edit the 1111 default dot conf file, and add redirect syntax as show here. Finally restart the Apache service by running systemctl restart apache2. Let's jump to my demo server and finish step 2. Using vi editor open the vc box v host file that is 1111-default-ssl.conf. Now replace the ssl certificate file name and ssl key name. Once done save the file. Next we need to enable the HTTP to HTTPS redirection. Using the VI editor open the 1111-default.conf file. Now enter the redirect syntax below the document root syntax, as shown here, and save the file. Now we need to restart the Apache to take effect the configuration. Type system CTL restart Apache 2 to restart the Apache.
Step 3. Asterisk configuration to support WebRTC. Using the VI editor open the asterisk http.conf file. And enable these settings as shown here. Make sure to type right path of our self-signed certificate and key. Next we need to enable the res HTTP WebSocket asterisk module to load automatically once asterisk starts. Using VI editor open the modules.conf file under etc slash asterisk and add the line load equals greater than res underscore http underscore websocket.so Reboot the server once to load the module. Let's jump to my demo server to finish the step 3. Using VI editor open the http.conf file under etc slash asterisk. Now enable all the setting, which I have shown here in notepad. Make sure you have entered the right SSL certificate name and key which we generated in step 1. Save the file. Next we need to enable the res underscore http underscore websocket module to load an asterisk. Using the VI editor open the modules.conf file under etc slash asterisk. Now type load equals greater than res underscore http underscore websocket.so and save the file. Now reboot the server once. After reboot type asterisk hyphen rx http show status. To make sure the websocket module loaded properly. You should get below outputs. Step 4. Downloading the VC Phone The WebRTC Phone VCPhone.com is the official website of VC Phone, where you can get the latest version. Download the VC Phone using Git clone to the Linux temporary directory. Change to the downloaded folder by typing CD VC Phone. Now copy the source to VC Dial Agent directory by typing cp r source slash srv slash www slash htdoc slash agc slash VC Phone. Next we need to provide read write permission to all the files under VC Phone. Type chmod r755 slash srv slash www slash htdoc slash agc slash vc phone. Jump to my demo server to finish the step 4. Browse the GitHub website and copy the download link. Now in Linux console, go to the temp directory by typing cd slash vr slash temp. Download the GitHub file by typing git clone followed by download link. Once downloaded go to download folder by typing cd vc phone. Now copy the source file to vc dial agent folder by typing cp hyphen r source slash srv slash www slash height docs slash agc slash vc phone. Next give read write permission by typing chmod hyphen r slash srv slash www slash height docs slash agc slash vc phone. Step 5, VC Dial Configurations First we need to enter the web phone URL, under Admin System Settings Next we need to enter the WebSocket URL, under Admin, Servers Next we need to create the WebSocket template under Admin, Templates with these settings by pointing to our SSL certificate and key with path Next we need to create the phones with WebRTC support Under Admin, Phones Create a phones with Wefani equals yes and webpone auto answer equals yes and select the template which we created in previous step. Jump to my demo server and finish the step 5. Log into your VC dial admin portal and go to admin system settings. Now enter the web phone URL as shown in the notepad. Replace the IP as per your server IP.
Next go to admin and click servers. Under WebSocket URL enter the URL as shown in the notepad. Replace the IP to your server IP. Next we need to create the SIP template to support WebRTC. Click Templates under Admin, create a new template and copy paste the content shown in Notepad. Make sure the SSL and key path are same we created in Step 1. Next we need to create VC dial phones. Under Admin, Phones. Create a new phone with default settings as shown here. Now set yes to the set as web phone field and yes to web phone auto answer field. Scroll down and select the template which we created in previous step. Step 6, Simple Workaround to Support WebRTC to Work with Self-Signed SSL Certificate Open either Mozilla or Chrome browser, and browse these two URLs, and accept the certificate exception. Jump to be demo setup to showcase the same. Browse HTTPS, slash slash server IP, which will prompt for security risk, discard that alert, click advance and press accept the risk and continue. Similar way. Browse HTTPS colon slash slash server IP colon 8089, discard the alert and press the accept the risk and continue. Now we have added our self-signed SSL in exception list for both HTTPS and WebSocket traffic. Now test the WebRTC by logging in as an agent. As soon you log in press allow button for mic and speaker permission. Once logged in, you can see the web phone shows registered. Now you need to click call agent web phone to attach the web phone to the agent session. As auto answer is enabled it will play back you are the only person in the conference. Now let's test a call my manual dial. Yes it's connected. Let's re-log in and check everything works fine. Thanks for watching. Catch you yet another video.